Hey fellow Terrarians, as you explore your world, you will come across many, many different statues. Some of those statues are functional, and among those functional statues, some are extremely overpowered. That's my opinion. So today's video is about those several statues that are highly useful early on, and I strongly recommend that you obtain all of these as soon as you can. So one such statue is Imp. So Imp statue essentially allows you to farm the Obsidian Rose without ever going to the Underworld. Okay, so here's a Drippler statue and it is useful. You can get a trough, you can get a necklace, but you know what? Uh, it's not critical. So I'm just you know pointing it out. We won't farm Dribblers here. Um, another statue that is useful, especially if you're playing hardcore, is Hard Statue. It allows you you know, to survive in some difficult situations, right? So, um, as you come across, uh, pay attention to the uh, mushroom biomes. Glowing mushroom biomes ha usually have several statues in inside. So, see another dripler, and here is a very, very useful statue, Hornet. So, Hornet statues are extremely, extremely useful. We will figure out very shortly. We'll find out. Okay, so some, as you see here, are useless for us at this point well, or ever all right so as we continue exploring the map um, see we found one penguin statue so penguin statues by the way if you are into vanity sets so you can get the penguin uh, set while farming those statues during blood moon here by the way another hornet statue and by the way in another hard statue so by the way keep in mind that every single world will contain several statues of every kind so here's a unicorn statue it's good to farm uh, unicorn horns but you know what it's for hard mode so don't bother unless you just want to farm banners right so and here is the granite elemental uh, okay so uh, those are also useful but not as useful so you undead vikings are Oh, there's another one two in a row almost okay so they're decent but you know what there is one statue uh, is absolutely op and that is the corruptor the corruptor statue guys it's really powerful okay so all right so once you've collected several statues drink a danger sense potion and go into the caverns and look for traps all right so especially spike trap like this all right so if you're holding a pressure plate or another trap that you found earlier you will see the wiring right so that's how you can detect it by holding something that's related to a trap either it's a trap or a pressure plate or explosives or something that is allowing you to essentially see the wires the red wire so the wire here is what we're after right so we'll need the single pressure plate and rail track so a single bar iron bar and wood allows you to to make 50 minecraft tracks so all you need is, is three actually so one goes into the pressure uh plate track essentially okay so one pressure plate and one normal track allows you to craft a pressure plate track so that is the key of this farm so essentially assumption here is that you're gonna be able to farm these statues on day one okay so we're gonna make a grinder box here very very quickly and easily so as you can see all you need to do is along this wire that is currently invisible you're gonna place a pressure plate track you're gonna also place your statues because statues guys get activated by pressure plates all right and by wiring so essentially statues are you know can be wired and we start with the hornet statue because i think it's easy to farm you see along the line of the red wire we place the track the, the pressure plate track and we need to use a hammer to hit twice each edge right so create bumpers so now if you hop on it right click on it you see it immediately spawns the hornets right so as you can see only three hornets have spawned why because that's the limitation uh, for statues 
uh, next to you nearby i mean there are ways to increase the limit by placing them far further away but it's a complex system we'll look at it later for now we'll, let's just look into the efficiency here right so instant efficiency so we place it place the tracks close to the grinder box so for afk farming i suggest using summons such as flinks or vampire frog staff if you have one all right because in this uh this method would work amazing afk will using minions right so don't use lava by the way guys don't use lava because lava killed uh, enemies that are produced from traps uh, from uh, statues they do not drop any loot and by the way oh my goodness already we got the bizarre and a stinger so bizarre is the thing you're after why because it allows you to essentially beat queen b effortlessly it, it becomes it turns this formidable boss into a joke fight okay so the next statue i'm showing you here is the imp statue so the imp um again like i mentioned we're after the obsidian rose and obsidian rose can be obtained without ever venturing into the underworld right so once you obtain the banner things go very very smoothly so but expect to spend 10 minutes or so maybe maybe even longer afk in to get the obsidian rose once you get it essentially it goes into the crafting of your terra spark boots obviously if you if you um if you're looking to get those right so that's an essential item without it you can't craft those right so you either way you'll have to farm imps but this is safe this is hardcore friendly and and can be done on day one of your gameplay easy okay guys next let's uh let's see we have a few more statues but some are you know, more useful in my opinion than the others let's do goblin scout next all right so why goblin scout well because this allows us to craft a goblin standard and summon goblin army without ever breaking shadow orbs and why do you bother why do we have to bother about that right well that prevents future random goblin invasions that can be very annoying in hard mode so keep it keep it in mind anyhow so next one is extremely useful and that's hoplite statue hoplites are easy to farm this way fully afk and they drop several good items well few i would say but two would be the most important right so first you get um you get this uh, spear or javelin okay so the hop uh, hoplite javelin is essentially very 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 powerful weapon early game it has piercing it flies pretty far it deals a lot of damage it's pretty fast in fact guys i submit to you that it, you can beat wall of flesh with just those spears and flasks work on those which is crazy all right so and another thing as you can see here oh, also the gladius gladius is a short sword and it's pretty fun but other than just very early game i don't think it's very useful but explore and test it yourself see what it, what you think about it uh, another thing you get from hoplites is a full gladiator set all right and that is insanely good for early on uh, early game because it gives you a weapon 16 defense right away and immunity to knockback it is it's essentially a free uh, cobalt shield already even though you're pre-boss still very very powerful so this is one statue to farm early on right and um Next, ne all right, so Dribbler, well, we won't be farming here because in my opinion, it's not as useful. It only produces uh, money trough and shark tooth necklace, but the chances, uh, chance is very low and you're naturally gonna get it uh, faster. Shark statue, on the other hand, is extremely useful. Why? Because, well, for shark, by the way, guys, you need a bigger box and, and box had to be with thick walls because sometimes sharks actually go through uh, through blocks all right but why farming sharks one particular item and that's shark fin shark fins go into crafting the hunter potion and hunter potion is useful throughout the game you want them you want as many as you can possibly get but oh we got a shark kite it must be windy uh, on the surface for sure 
You can also get the diving helmet and obviously shark fins. Shark fins is basically the item we are after. You get as many as you can because later on throughout the game you're gonna uh, realize that uh, you know, especially in hard mode, it's and in and when exploring the caverns, it's a very very powerful potion, guys. So uh, absolutely go for it. So shark statue, very useful. All right. So this is all good, but we're not done yet. There is another. There is another very very powerful uh, statue here. In my opinion, it's the best of them all. The most OP statue uh, early game in Terraria. All right, and that is the Corruptor. The Corruptor statue essentially produces spawns eaters of, of souls. And farming those will not only give you chunks, run chunks, which are useful for different crafts and stuff, but oh, there's a banner, but also the full set of shadow, ancient shadow armor. And that is insane because you can get it essentially on day one or two of your gameplay, right? By IFK essentially. And that's a whopping 19 defense, 15% crit chance, increased movement speed and acceleration. And that is basically, it can make you uh, move faster, as fast almost as a horse, basically. If you pair it with the Magiluminescence, uh, you know, boots and, uh, and a buff, foot buff, for example, right? This is insanely powerful. Look at this. The speed is 44 miles per, per hour. That's one. Also, turn around instantly, essentially. Instantly. There is no lag. There is no delay. You and of course, post Skeletron, you can already place timers, wiring and create, a, you, you know, you statue farm on the surface quite easily and AFK put some sentries put some some summons make put all of these statues together in a box in a frame and you can farm to your heart's delight basically fully AFK without any tracks without any minecarts easily right so keep in mind guys though uh, there are many more statues to explore and some drop very interesting loot but in my opinion the so my absolutely favorite uh, for early game would be the hornet for the bazaar and stingers pretty much infinite stingers uh, obviously hoplite for the full set and a good good weapon the javelin is pretty for early on is very nice and and absolute best is the corruptor the corruptor statue gives us the full set of the ancient armor and that is massive okay so um, if you get it on day day one imagine this so you have such an edge for early game you can pretty much farm bosses in instantly right so your mobility goes through the roof all right guys i hope you find this video informative and hope you enjoy it and i see you in the next video thank you for watching